I love to build, but I also like to have things to build with. That's why in today's episode, we are going to get better at Minecraft Hardcore. Everything I need to craft a skeleton XP farm is in this chest right here. We only need two water buckets. That's just to make an infinite water source. And then we need some torches to keep it lit up, some hoppers, chest, a sign, a slab, and some trap doors. Uh, and I was gonna get dark. Oh god, now you run now. Run, 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 run. No, 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 Minecraft's a horror game now. I have no idea where the spawner is. I I I actually cannot find it. I'm about to go try to find a different one. There's just no way it's at this level. I don't know what level is that. Okay guys, I think I found the spawner, it's over this way. And I'm just gonna build a ladder down. I don't know if we even know if it's the same spawner, but I did find one. And we can start building a skeleton spawner. So where I want to dig down at is right here. One, two, three. See, I would have already done it wrong. It looks like I already put the ladder in the wrong place too, so I'm gonna have to rebuild that and put it back which kind of sucks but oh well now the best way to do this is to place a water bucket here here because then it'll just make this shape and from what i remember you just dig this out we dig this whole line out right here and then we're going to dig the blocks back so the water will eventually run down oh my god how the heck did a creeper even get in here what the hell I just had a heart attack. That was so scary. I almost just died. This. This. And. Voila! We're gonna have to block that up really quick. And we're gonna have to get rid of these torches. But I'm gonna eat a golden apple so I don't die just to be safe. Theoretically, all I should have to do is cover that up, break this. And they're all spawning. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Woo! Did it. And now we have a mob spawner. I need to get a better sword. Ooh, I found diamonds. Heck yeah. Been mining out this area so we have more room so I can eventually decorate it. I then added some spruce stripped wood just to make the XP farm a little less dark. After that, I created a small storage area just so we could put all of our items. And made an enchantment set up down here so we could get level 30 armor. Uh, enchanted armor I crafted wasn't that good. But in the meantime, it will work to protect us from mobs. And I also was able to craft a bunch of tools so we could mine more efficiently. Now it is time for us to collect resources for this villager farm I'm working on. I collected some iron, some gold, I then bone mealed some carrots. And crafted enough rails to move the villagers to our base. And headed on my way to grab some villagers I found even closer by. Ooh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Get off the fire. Oh, no. Woo. Thank gosh. After trapping the villagers, I ended up getting sidetracked, creating a foundation for our windmill. And then I decided it'd be a good idea to bring over some cows for some leather and for some meat in the future.
In here, buddy. Come on, you two. Get in the pen. Thank you. Now, let's breed them. I'm gonna bring all the villagers to here. And then I'm gonna make a farm. And then we're gonna get all the best trades because right now, I'm not rich. Look at me. I have an iron sword. And this pickaxe is gonna break soon. So I need to get better at this game. Finishing touches, which is these trap doors. One, two, three. I just need to add this glass and plant these carrots. And the setup for this villager farm is done. Get in the cart. Thank you, finally. Now you, get in. Good. Woo! Make it in there, please. Break this and break this. While we wait to see if these villagers breed, let's move the cows because I hate where I put the cow bin. I started to get super inspired and began work on the new windmill. I added a nice stone brick foundation, made an entryway to a barn area, textured the foundation with some stone and andesite. Then worked my way up to the second level where I added some strip spruce logs. and added some cobblestone to this tower because the andesite needed to be broken up. I really like how this build turned out, but it feels like it's missing something. Oh, 
Also, I did this. I want to start working on a potato and carrot farm. Oh wait, what? Why? Huh? Why is it why why is it wheat now? I guess we'll be making a potato and wheat farm now. Oh well, if you're still very useful. I just wanted to take this time and thank you all for the support recently. And if you guys have any idea for what we should call this new village we're making, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate your feedback. This collection system is super simple. All we need to do is push this block down with a piston into that hopper minecart and then break the piston. We add some blocks around the villagers where they'll be standing. And then we go and see if all the items will be picked up. Oops. And this is where the villager will throw the items. Let's see if it works. Good, good. Forward. Forward. Oh, hi. Get up there. No, don't go back down. Stay. Up oh, before it gets dark. One now. Two. Three. Oh. Um, get in there. Now three. I got the fourth villager in. Now it's time to add a collection system. Uh oh. Wheat. Oh no. There's a lot of mala mobs down here. Hey man. What are you doing? Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Thank you. <sighs> Phew! Let's make a room real quick. Add some chest. And some hoppers. Of course, since this is a series about building, we need to make this automatic farm look nicer. These houses aren't very big, so there's going to need to be a lot of texturing and a lot of small details added to this house to make them look better. I think the combination of tough and stone bricks with a little bit of cobblestone and gravel will make it look very good with a spruce textured roof and a little bit of roof details. Add the last trap doors. Add a campfire to add smoke to our chimney. Then then add more trap doors to hide the fire. And then we need to make sure our chimney is connected to our roof. And we also need to texture the chimney so it gives a little more detail. We have to put these roses back just so it makes it look like they grew around the house. If y'all enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. I really enjoy making videos for you guys, and I just want to keep upping the level every single time. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!